Okay, let's go see what we can find. Oh, you poor bugger. Look, this guy, he's done absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever. Sorry, friend. I must balance you. Gosh, I'm good at this game. Look at my amazing skills. Anyway. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Harbour City Siege. Check it, check, check it out. Uh, I have a little strategy you may have seen me use once or twice for Harbour City Siege. We're going to take the Metalluri and the Blue Culverum. Um, today I'm going to take a lot of pikes because this map is absolutely jam-packed full of cavalry. So we're going to take the four Debrachio pikes who are probably my all-round best unit. We're going to take the Domain pikes to do a bit of uh, siege pushing if we have to, but also to be sort of like backup pikes. Um, for up the siege ladders on the walls today, I'm going to take the uh, the land sharks, the Langsgnektzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
we have a functioning tab key. It is a lot of people who really want to get outside the gates. So, you know, my 70 leadership unit can take the hits so the mode I don't get shot from the longbow. And we'll just sit here and wait. Just pretend like we're threatening them. What have we got here? Palace Guard. Okay. No, Modow, what are you doing? No! And now I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Okay, so... Um, looks like our CGs are in. Well, maybe they're not. I think despite all our efforts, we've still not managed to get a siege tower in. Do you see how if we got them in the first time, we'd be two to three minutes ahead of where we are now? And that was really what I was trying for. Unfortunately, you can't get it right every time. You know, if the enemy are going to set up some purple cannons behind or bring some falcon ubies, uh, you're definitely not going to be able to get them in either way. But it's worth the shot, right? What did it cost me? All it cost me was a blue culvert. Not going up by ourselves. We want some heavies in front. Heavies like them would work nice. Now we now we set the trap. Do you count these guys as heavies? I suppose they're not really heavies anymore, are they? However, we are going to take advantage of the minus 20% defense they have inflicted on people and just completely wipe out this unit of Iron Reapers. <laughs> we'll wipe out what's left of it at least. Those Axe Raiders did a damn good job of it. All right, we'll just... Uh, okay, they're going that way, so we'll just pretend like we care about this way, but really we care about this way. So we'll go here, we'll go into the brace. We can charge backwards, which some people forget. Uh, who cares about the pike? We'll just ignore him. And we'll go in here. Oh, those beautiful kill numbers stacking up. Those are all grandpas too. That's bloody lovely. Lovely, mate. I'll stand in the front here, see how the grandpas are hitting me with my heavy armor, deep hit point pull, and my shield. I'm taking the hits for my guys. We're going to lose a few on the retreat here. You can't win it all, and let's make sure this pike doesn't get away. Sad, sad meta slaves. <laughs> the guys are still in there, they're still causing damage. Look at this. Wow, what a chaotic melee. This is amazing. I love big infantry fights like this. Imagine if someone had like the, the fire thrower coconut boys or something like that. Maybe we can crouch again. Maybe we can get another charge off. Off you go, lads. Go and take some hits. Come with me, those of you who are left, and we will still terrify these uh, lightly armoured... Oh, you dodged my kick. The, if you don't know, the longsword kick can actually knock people off horses. It's one of the two of their abilities that can, um, can knock people off horses. Not known for their CC, the old longswords, but actually they have a little bit more than most people might imagine. Okay, we want people to, like, I have to go back and get a unit, and at least one or two of these heroes is going to have to as well. So we want people to wait, probably stack up. Um, might just real quick ask them to do that. Boom. Okay, we have four Elp Halberdiers left alive, four Land Sharks. They've got about 40 plus kills so far. <laughs> All of them grandpas and iron reapers. So that's not bad for a blue tier unit, man. That's great. Um, but anyway, the day is done. Four of them left, even if I heal them up, is not going to be enough to do anything. So uh, we're going to push in. So we've got two anti cav units. We're going to take the pikes first. People might not think of the, uh, the houndsmen as an anti cav unit, but they're really good at it, man. Their turn will come. Okay, if you don't have this unit, the Fortebrachio Pikeman, uh, you should get this unit and you should make it a priority. This is the best uh, pike unit in the game. In fact, I would argue it's the only pike unit in the game that genuinely works. Uh, it can be very easily countered by heroes, but uh, if you get charged in the front, they're the only brace pike unit that will actually stop a cavalry charge. Modows are not really a pike per se, right? They've kind of got a bladed pole arm. 
But uh, if, so a T5 cavalry charge will, will be stopped by these guys, and they're the only ones that really can do it. These um, pike militia in front of us here, they might take out one or two, but they're just going to get wiped anyway. So we're going to sit behind them so they take the damage. They're a cheap, nasty unit. A lot of cavalry players are, are afraid of the low tier pikes, and you just don't need to be. Like uh, even Imperial Pikes and Brace are terrible. Uh, you know, Fort of Rakios and Modau are really the only anti cavalry units of this kind that will genuinely work and that are reliably able to work, shall we say. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just play it cool, boys. Play it cool. <laughs> They're gonna get they spent too much time avoiding us and got picked off by the heroes. Oh, these guys are gonna try and charge on the apex of our pike block. It's not going to work. There are too many pikes here with the swamp ability. And that's going to be end of the hero and his entire unit of Kishiks. So that is real nice. Here's another one. Um, they missed us, but we're going to push forward. Look, we'll be able to catch the tail end of it as they retreat. This is one of the um, the lovely things about Kishiks is you can very easily take some out on the back end as they're trying to run away. Kind of the best way to wear them down if you can't kill them now. Right? All right, we best go and see what's in here. It's enlarging that map because I can see, see behind me. There we go, watch. So this pike is about to get a little, oh no, he's going to teach me a lesson in how, look at this, look, look. You know, just absolutely redonkulous. You know, do cavalry really, do cavalry really get counted by pikes? Do they really? I don't know, man. Okay, it's our last unit, Doggo Boys. This has been a real meta slave battle. Like honestly, every unit we've fought against has been, you know, highly placed in the meta. We haven't fought anything that is. What's going on there? Look at all this. Look at it. Look at it. Just nothing but meta units. How are we supposed to fight against this? It's ridiculous. The problem we've got on the frontier server, of course, is that you give your uh, your purple sorry, you give your give your gold tier unit a leadership doctrine, which we have on these servers, and they become the same cost. Oh, here we go. We can't, they become the same cost as purple units, so you just don't see as many. But we're going to demolish this particular meta unit. How's that? See, see, we're anti cavalry. The problem is we're anti cavalry until we don't have dogs and don't get shot from long range. Good, well done from that musket player moving up into that very effective position there. Good job. But um, once we've lost the bulk of our dogs, we can no longer stop cavalry like that. So it's kind of a one turn thing. This is two, two doggos left. Oh, we've got three actually, three left. But we'll heal up real fast and we'll see what's happening. I'm doing pretty well in comparison to my team, but I can't carry forever if we keep getting all our units dead. Look at this, just absurd, absolutely absurd. We've not, not with, I don't think, now I'm pretty sure, I don't think with any of these units we've actually fought anything except a high meta unit. Grandpas, Keshigs, Armages. Slash, what do, you, what do we call them? The other word for armages. Northern Lance Cavalry, I think it is. Oh no, that's the, that's the gun boys. Man, I'm having a moment. Don't try and do this while you're playing. <laughs> now my eyes are absolutely glued to that mini-map because there's just cav everywhere. Oh look, some non-meta cav. There's some um, monastics. What are those? Iron Reapers. <laughs> More meta. This is ridiculous. Kind of fun though, kind of fun in its own sort of sick, demented, twisted way. No, you don't. Reacted a bit late to that one, that's okay. It came out fine in the end there. More meta cav. Let's see if we get some bleeds on these heroes with our last remaining four archers and two dogs. Yeah, we've got a bleed, look at that. We might be able to kill him if we're lucky. Otherwise, we've got two and a half minutes, no units, and we have not captured the internal supply points. So this is really not looking good for me. Uh, we'll try and fire from the corner. Mistimed it by one guy, that's fine. Oh no. Oh, 
<laughs> we just do some impotent damage here. So if those guys are going to run away, we might... Ah, oh, god damn it, I got noobed. Noobed again. Noob grabbed. <laughs> okay. So I have a blister and a dream. Let's go and flail wildly at the enemy. What we can do from here, I don't know. Oh look, well, we might be capturing, <laughs> we're capturing the supply point with 40 seconds to go. So I guess it's something. Look at these people who saved all of their, their high meta units for, for the last minute of the game. That's ridiculous. Ah, let's fight to the death. I'm a longsword boy. Could somebody come through here with some cavalry please? I can see it on the map. Please come through here with cavalry. You'll get a lot of hero kills. There we go. Chop him down. <laughs> uh, well, that's GG, boys and girls. Unfortunately, we didn't win this one. It was just kind of fun, like, to be able to show you the ridiculousness of some of these games that you end up playing when you're, uh, you know, over, I don't even know what level I am, 16 or 1700, somewhere there. But, oh, look at that. We killed nothing we killed except meta units. Everything. 1.2, 1.8. Just look. Totally meta units and nothing else. We did best with the Alp Halberdiers. Fort of Rekia got 300 kill score. 21 cavalry they killed. Because we know they only killed cavalry. Houndsman only killed cavalry. Just the, the Domain Pikemen didn't even kill one of the Palace Guard they ended up fighting. And what can you do? What can you do when the entire team is made up of nothing but meta warriors? Look at that. Look at all the kills. We got 34 Keshigs. He killed 30. The other guy killed 45. <laughs> just, just, look at it's outrageous. That's... And he killed 10. That's like 120... 125 Kesh eggs. <laughs> 135, 141, 153, 160, <laughs> 177, 180, 185, over 200 bloody Kesh eggs. What's going on? <laughs> uh, hmm. Meta slaves. Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new or you just enjoyed this utterly horrendous battle. I hope I did the mathematics right at that very end there. Uh, you have a good day. See you later, boys and girls. Ooh.